Hi everyone. It is undeniable that we've all been going through such unprecedented and difficult times. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged our way of life in all its aspects, with society being pushed to its limits. Today, on International Women's Day, I feel it is my duty to speak to you about the impact of COVID-19 specifically on women around the world. While most people's lives have been negatively affected by the crisis, research has shown that it is the jobs and the livelihoods of women, specifically women, that have been most vulnerable. Studies indicate that during the pandemic, global job loss rates of women are nearly double than male ones. But at Medics, we have always, and especially during the pandemic, supported our workforce to the best of our ability, and we've ensured the fundamental right to equal opportunities, promoting diversity by all means. I'm proud to share, and I'm not sure you know it actually, that at Medic, 70% of our team members are women, and 55 of our senior management roles are held by women. Our workforce is comprised of 24 different nationalities and represent most religions. Unfortunately, on a global level, not enough has been done. With the pandemic, we have not only seen women job losses, we've also seen increased domestic violence as family life changed, with tensions and stress building up. We must be reminded to tackle and address women's disparities in society, along with gender inequality. I am convinced that today we must act more than ever, and I encourage you to do so, each in your own way. We must encourage every woman to speak up, to share her challenges, and above all, we must lead by example. We must fight for women to sit at the decision-making tables and play a leadership role in society. You know, women world leaders have excelled in dealing with the pandemic in their respective countries. We should acknowledge and learn from their experience. We should leverage these achievements to bring about the challenges we all so desperately need in our own communities. As a great woman leader once said, make the most of yourself by fanning the tiny inner sparks of possibility into flames of achievement. This is the responsibility of each and one of us. Please do raise your hand and choose to challenge.